In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace this vacuum pump on this Volkswagen Jetta. Let's get into it. We're going to pull this cover off. There should be little caps over here. You want to pop those out with a straight blade screwdriver. And then there should be some fasteners holding this down. Whether you have some nuts or some bolts, probably a 10 millimeter socket or a T30 socket you want to use that take those out and then just grab this panel and just slide it up and out of the way we're going to take this tube off you want to use some pliers some hose clamp pliers slide the hose clamps over same with this one slide that off We're going to disconnect this line right here. You can use a pick. There is a special tool to use if you have it. But you can use a pick and just unhook it. Just slide it like that. And slide this off. And just grab the hose and work it off completely. Now this hose it's in the bracket, you want to pop this out. There's a bracket down below as well. Pop that out and just slide that out of the way. Now using a 10 millimeter socket, there's a nut holding this bracket on right here. There's a nut further down this vehicle. It's missing, but just use a 10 millimeter socket. Take that off. Take that nut off. And then take the other nut off. And then this bracket slides right out. Now we're gonna take the bolts off. Use a 13 millimeter socket. This lower one, you're probably gonna to have to use a wrench on that one. back bolt and just grab the vacuum pump and you're going to slide it towards the back of the vehicle and slide it out. Now just take a little brake parts cleaner and a rag and just wipe off this area. If there's anything that's raised up you want to just take a scraper and scrape it or a razor blade. Just get that pretty clean. Looking at the old vacuum pump, you want to get this lined up as close as possible. So just turn that. That looks good right there. You know, obviously it's going to be different for everyone. You may have to have it straight up and down or even backwards, uh, but this looks the same. Now I'll just take this, slide this in the same way it came out in the back. and just very carefully slide it in place. And then if you have to, you can twist it back and forth to get it to line up with the cam. Take the bolts, the ones with the studs go on the bottom and then the back one, and then the other one goes in the front.
And now we're going to tighten these down, just snug. Not too tight, but. That's good. That's good. And the one underneath, do the best you can with a wrench. And snug that up. That's good. Now I take this bracket and line it up. You want to go over those studs. Get the nuts started. And the other nut goes on there. And tighten those down, just snug. Now take this vacuum hose and slide that in all the retainers, or the clips. And take this hose, I'm going to use a worm style hose clamp and slide this over just like that and then tighten it down. Should be good. Now I'll take this intake tube, get this lined up. And get the clamps repositioned. Lined up, it's good. And put the engine cover on, line that up. And put the screws in and nuts that hold that down. If there's a clamp right here holding that vacuum line on, put that on. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.